Welcome to iLecture Online, and today we're going to look at mirrors and thin lenses. With other words, we're going to find how to find the images of objects placed in front and behind mirrors and lenses. Well, actually, you don't place, place objects behind mirrors because then you're not going to see anything, but in lenses you could. And also, there may be some virtual images that are behind the mirrors, and they'll play a role later on when we do multi-lens and multi-mirror systems. But start off, we'll start off with something simple. We're going to look at a concave mirror. It has a focal length of 25 centimeters, which means that the center of curvature is twice as far away, or 50 centimeters away. So this point would be 50 centimeters away. The focal point would be at 25 centimeters. The mirror is concave. And uh, the object is placed 100 centimeters in front of the mirror. I have some equations here on the board that will help us find out what uh, some of these things are. Uh, the way I use it is that F stands for focal length, S stands for the distance to the object, and S prime stands for the distance to the image. All right, so typically we want to know what the image distance is, the distance to the image, the location of the image, if the image is real or virtual, if it's right side up or upside down, and what the magnification of the image is. So those are typically the four things we need to find. First, we're going to find it graphically, and we can do that by drawing uh, light rays starting from the very top of the object. We, dry, we um, draw a ray that's parallel to the normal. The normal is the line that is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the middle of the mirror. So the first ray that we draw is parallel to that normal. When it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect off the mirror, and it's going to reflect back through the focal point. So it looks kind of like this. Okay, so that's ray number one. Ray number two, we draw from the tip of the uh, object through the focal point to the mirror. And that kind of looks like this. When it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect back and it's going to reflect back horizontally or parallel to the normal, this way like this. All right, and where the two meet, right there, that is going to be the location of the image. So we put the little, <coughs> excuse me, little eye there for the image. Now it looks like the image is in front of the mirror. Uh, which would make a reel. It is upside down and it's located somewhere between the focal point and the center of curvature. So um, let's now find mathematically where that location is. So the first thing we're going to do is use this equation right here where we see that S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. Now plug it in what those things are. S is a distance to the object that would be 100 centimeters and I'm going to leave off the centimeters to keep it clean. The focal length, 25 centimeters, divided by 100 minus 25. So this is equal to 2,500 divided by 75. And quickly grab a calculator, because that's not a nice round number. So 2,500 divided by 75 is 33.3. So that would be 33.3 centimeters. So the first thing we did is find the distance to the image. So this is right here. This is your S prime. That's equal to 33.3 centimeters. The second thing we want to find out if the image is real or virtual. Now since the image appeared in front of the mirror, it would make it real. The observer would be standing right here. There's a little eyeball representing our observer, so actually seeing the image in front of the mirror. Another way in which you can tell the image is real is because this is a positive quantity, which means it was in front of the mirror. So the image is real. The third thing we we'll want to do is the image upright or upside down. Well, it looks like here that it's upside down, but we can also find out by finding the magnification. So here's the equation for the magnification. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. S prime was 33.3, so that becomes minus 33.3 divided by the object distance, which is 100. And it looks like that's going to be minus one third. So there, the minus here tells us that it's upside down. So the minus tells us it's upside down or inverted, as we would call it. Another word for that is inverted. And the magnification is one-third, meaning that the image size is one-third the size of the object, and that looks about right on our graph right here. So that is how you find the image, the location of the image, whether or not the image is real or virtual. Virtual means that it's, it's imaginary, the brain kind of uh, sees it th uh, through finding the rays appearing to combine behind the mirror. We see some examples of that later. The magnification, one-third, and the fact that it's negative means that it's upside down or inverted. 
All right, so that's a straightforward example. We'll do many more involving mirrors and thin lenses.